Hey bro, know you're looking for help, but I'm gonna cut to the chase. You're kinda uptight, and I've already been through that with Randy. No way, bro. Me? Uptight? I'm super cool. So relaxed. We could definitely hang. <clears throat> bro? <laughs> okay, bro. Then show me you can let loose by riding a scooter out to your next match while copying my entrance. Do that, then I'll know you can hang. Deal. I just need to borrow your scooter. You don't already have one? I'm having second thoughts. <laughs> Mine's in the, uh, shop. The scooter repair shop, which is definitely a real thing. Oh, okay, bro. You can totally bogart mine. Look forward to seeing your goofy side. A cool persona and a respected mixed martial arts background. Riddle is here to fight. Wait, that's not Riddle. What the heck is going on here? I don't know, but he's acting like Riddle, Scooter and all. I have no idea why he or anyone for that matter would want to do this. He's actually pretty good on that scooter. Maybe he's been practicing. Is this really the time for goofing off like this? He's got a deadline approaching where he needs to win the championship or he's gone from WWE forever. I think I'd be more focused on that. Well, maybe there's more to this we don't know about. Or maybe the stress of the deadline has caused him to lose it. Who knows? He's certainly got Riddle's mannerisms down, Pat. Again, I hate to be the downer, but that's not going to help him win this match, let alone overcome the difficult odds he faces trying to gain Slade's championship before SummerSlam. I just don't get it. Veer Mahan, the so-called lion of WWE, will kick things off here tonight. What's to say about Veer that he isn't going to show you himself? The man's a ball of fire, and frankly, there isn't much he loves more than striking fear into the hearts of his opponent. The only question is, who has the courage to stop him? Truly a rising power player here in the landscape of WWE. And he has his work cut out for him here, facing off against someone who feels he's been disrespected lately. Someone who's really come out here with something to prove. I do not know that I agree he's been disrespected lately, but if he wants respect, it will do him good to win this matchup. No other way to say it, guys. That looked like it hurt a lot. Stop after stop after stop. And if the first stop doesn't send you the message, the follow-up ones definitely will. He's executing on his plan perfectly. He's bringing a lot of intensity right now. This gets punch. The power of a deadlift into a military press. Wow. Walking around the ring. Question from the middle rope. Oh, what a splash! Uh oh. Oof! Answer that with a stiff knee. He's just getting thrown around out here. Yeah, he's got to surmount this storm coming at him. He's in a little bit of trouble now. And this match is not over yet. Things are only going to get harder from here. Oh, the body block. This could be it. Cover for the win. Quick shoulder up. This deep into the match, and he's able to kick out before it. A bear hug. Squeezing the front up. Furiously trying to fight his way. The strength of Dominator. Close line. Good lord. So effective. 
effective. And he's really gotten into his zone right now. Yeah, it's one attack after. Look at this superhuman power. And Mahan is laid out. Two count. Emphatic victory. Here is your winner, Wolfman Ryan Taylor. This was as dominant a win as I've ever seen, guys. As always, Cole, you're more polite than I am, so I'll just say what we're all thinking. This was as one-sided as it gets. I'll save you the big song and dance. I know you're looking for people to fight your battles, and obviously, I'm your top choice. But if you want my help, you're gonna have to do something for me first. Some of that was accurate, but what'd you have in mind? Corey Graves has been running around this past year saying how his show with Carmella is so much better than my show with Maurice, and I'm sick of it. I mean, their show isn't even on TV. Anyway. I would never lower myself to attack an announcer, but maybe someone else would, if you get my drift. With the situation I'm in, nothing is beneath me. Good. Corey trains at the PC on his off days. Head down there and shut him up. Come on! 
So, did you find a couple of blokes have got your back? Not quite. Do I need to remind you about the SummerSlam deadline? You don't have a lot of time to keep messing about. I hear you. I'll line up two guys soon. So, did you find a couple of blokes have got your back? Actually, I did. Great. Are you ready to move forward then? Remember, once you make this decision, you can't go back and change your mind. Besides, there's no time for that with your championship deadline approaching, so you better be absolutely certain. All right, I'll be here. From the moment he debuted, this superstar has known how to make an entrance. Here comes the Clown Prince of Tony WWE. And his opponent, from parts unknown, weighing in at 245 pounds, Toy the Clown. More than just sneaky tricks. Byron, he's coming over your way. No, no, stay away from me, you evil clown. Oh, you're right, Cole. Doink is more than just tricks. He also possesses amazing technical wrestling skills and high-flying attacks. Is he gone yet? Yeah, go ahead, Saxton. Look now. 
Oh, no, Corey, you lied to me. <laughs> I think Doink's pretty twisted. He likes to make kids cry. What kind of clown likes to make kids cry? Well, if it makes you feel any better, Saxton, Doink also enjoys making adults cry and weep at the suffering he is about to inflict on his opponent. It's been a winding road for the WWE superstar known as The Lock. And it certainly takes another unexpected twist here tonight against Doink the Clown. <laughs> I'd call that the understatement of the century, Cole. Is this really happening? And the better question, why? I heard rumblings backstage that none other than The Rock may have something to do with how this match came together. Which only confuses me more. Punch lands. Hey, we're all getting free tickets to the gun show. Oh, and a stop right to the back. Uh-oh. Look at this. Uh-oh is right. Four-way slam. Was definitely not thinking about finesse with that one. Was only thinking about dominance. Neck breaker. Now he's been put on the defensive. No need to panic. He's still swinging. Just reverberated throughout the entire building. Talk about making a statement. And the pressure on Doink continues to mount. Nothing for Doink to laugh about here. And that was a precisely measured attack. And he's able to reverse. Elbow throw saying not today. Each superstar trying to stay a step ahead. These two battling to a dead heat with these reverses. Neck breaker. With the reversal. Doink is not taking this line down anymore. Could be the start of a quick turnaround for Doink. And they just busted out an impactful maneuver. And he can't defend any offense coming his way. Yeah, and this has to decrease his composure moving forward. This is a very powerful <laughs> Will that keep Doink grounded? Two. And this one is over. Here is your winner, Wolfman Ryan Taylor. No other way to put it, guys. That was kind of a butt kicking. An absolute statement by the victor here tonight. What a steamrolling.
The following contest is a six-man tag team match. On the way to the ring, at a combined weight of 660 pounds, Wolfman Ryan Taylor, Rey Mysterio, and Dominic Mysterio. Gentlemen, this has all the makings of an all-time classic match, and I fully expect it to deliver on that promise. three pounds, Angel, Humberto, and Santos Escobar, Legado de los Each of these competitors has incredible singles potential, but as a group, they may just be unstoppable. It's a family affair tonight in WWE as Ray and Dominic Mysterio are teaming up with the WWE superstar, once known as The Lock, to take on some familiar foes. That's right, Michael. That trio has taken on Angel Umberto and Santos Escobar in what's sure to be a thrilling blend of high-flying styles. Forget the former Lock. I'm most excited to see that Legato Del Lotharios have all grown their locks back. like they do not want them inside the ring anymore. Time to venture outside the ropes. Oh, oh. this is what's this gonna be? Wheelbarrow! Yeah. Face first. Things not going well now for Angel. Can Angel recover from his adversity? Dropping the ball. Placed into the corner. Handle finds the mark. Talk about being on the same page. They were on the same sentence with that fine piece of work. Makes him pay with a counter. Each competitor showing they've done their homework. Comes in off the tag. Look at this athleticism. Unique takedown. As them in the corner, getting it charged up. Ooh, what a close line in the corner. He's absorbed some damage already. From the middle rope, oh, what a splash. And Dominic is really dialed in right now. Yeah, Dominic's firing on all cylinders. Oh, man. the better there. Carrillo showing how much punishment he can withstand before getting his own offense in. Time now to get his energy up and claw back into the fight. Rock and drop kick. Umberto is a mean giving any space to regroup. Yeah, Umberto is on the wrong side of every exchange.
Mysterio. Nice wheelbarrow DDT by Mysterio. Man, what a hit. And misses on the springboard. Created separation here. So, actually, great. All right. Wow, it is like looking in the mirror. Not sure what you mean by that. I'm just saying our careers have taken a similar course. We both cut our teeth in the international circuit. We both were touted as future champions when we debuted here. We both were let go. And then we both returned and won the championship. Well, you haven't done that part yet. I hadn't really thought about all that, I guess. And I'm working on the championship part. It's actually kind of creepy. Are you intentionally copying me? No, just a coincidence. But we could actually work well together because of everything we have in common. Talking about your new faction, huh? I don't know. Maybe we're too similar to coexist. We might butt heads. We're not that similar. I mean, I didn't go to NXT when I came back to WWE like you did. That's true. I did have a nice run there when I beat Robert Roode for the NXT Championship. Maybe you could prove how different we are by taking on Roode on NXT, but beating him in under five minutes which is a lot less time than it took me. 
On second thought, maybe you're right. I should find someone else who's not so similar. I knew you were gonna say that. See? Creepy. So, actually, great. I hope you're right, for your sake. The Hurt Business has arrived in style to Monday Night Raw. Whoa! The Hurt Business is getting ambushed. They were not expecting this. MVP into the side of the limo. There's broken glass everywhere. We heard rumors that a new faction was forming to take on the Hurt Business, and this must be it. And Broad Breakers tossed headfirst into the limo. This is pure chaos. Not so fun now that I've evened up the sides, is it? I'm coming for this title, and there's nothing you can do to stop me. Now what? I think they're gonna flip over the limo. This is insane. <laughs> Making an impact. The Hurt Business, Shawn Michaels, and all of WWE, for that matter, has been put on notice. I can't believe this group that's been assembled. This next month is going to be very interesting.
So far, so good. I knew you'd make a great leader. Also, I'm enjoying a new bus. I could get used to this. Don't get too comfortable. If things don't work out for me, the bus goes along with everything else. Fair enough. Well, more motivation, I guess. You think you're ready for the big match later tonight? We already dominated them once tonight. The match will just be more of the same. I like your confidence, but don't get carried away. You have to expect Shawn Michaels is gonna strike back. Be careful. We got this. The hottest new faction in WWE is ready for their in-ring debut. The following is a six-man tag team match. On the way to the ring, at a combined weight of 725 pounds, Wolfman Ryan Taylor, The Rock, and Ray Mysterio. We've already seen what this crew can do in a parking lot, but this is our first real look at their in-ring chemistry. The former lock worked tirelessly to put this group together. Let's see if the hard work pays off. No traces of their parking lot pounding in that hurt business swagger. They're ready. And their opponents at a combined weight of 709 pounds. Slade MVP and Braun the Hurt Business! The former Locks brand new faction has already put the Hurt on the Hurt Business once, but this match will be a taller order. And the orders don't get much taller than Slade, Braun Breaker, and MVP. After a stunning attack earlier tonight that sent shockwaves through WWE, the former Lock leads his two new allies against his previous faction in a dramatic three-on-three -three match. Do you hear that, Cole? That's the sound of the SummerSlam deadline getting closer and closer. The new faction leader can't afford to lose any ground against the Hurt Business. And I bet Slade and company would love nothing more than to crush their former teammates' momentum, not to mention paying back for that little visit in the parking garage. He gets tagged in. Shoulder tackle. Punch connects. Breaker telling the audience to holler if they... Oh! Great counter. Impressive ring IQ on display there. Finds a counter for Breaker. Gets him with the counter. Look at this, just unloading. Oh, a nasty stop to finish it off. Oh, what a kick. Oh, Breaker turns the tables. Reversals, reversals, and more reversals. He went right into that turnbuckle. There's the tag. To the neck. Oh, neckbreaker. And he goes for the pin. Raising the arm before one. I suppose you have to take the shot, but it's still too early to wrap up this one just yet. Answer that with a knee to the gut. Shot right out of the ring. Oh, that hurt right to the kidney. Count the week. Boom! What a right. Oh, what a 
a clothesline. Wicked clothesline. Shoulder tackle. See, he is feeling it now. Oh, man, the neck breaker. Uh-oh. Oh, the power, the strength of the Dominator. Full oh, impact. Oh, my God. Ooh, stiff punch. He gets set down to the floor. Tosses it back in there. The damage he's taking is starting to pile up. intent when you deal damage out on the apron. Sith crashing to the floor. Oh. The WWE Universe is pouring more fuel on... Wait a second. What's Evolution doing out here? They're attacking the Hurt Business's opponents? This is turning into a five-on-three beatdown. Running power slam into the ring post. You have got to be kidding me. It appears Evolution has officially joined forces with the Hurt Business. Unbelievable. Don't you just love it when a plan comes together? Or, in this case two of the most powerful factions in WWE. I mean, just when you thought you had evened up the sides, we were two steps ahead. So, good luck winning the championship, saving your career now. And the WWE Champion nails the Slave Runner. The Hurt Business started this night on their heels, but now we end the night looking at a brand new super group led by Shawn Michaels, more powerful than anything we've ever seen before. You have to feel for the former Locke, who looked to have captured momentum in his quest to win gold and remain in WWE. But now he has suffered a major setback. Let's be real, guys. This is more than a setback. It's a career-ending roadblock. We've seen him overcome long odds before, but I agree. This does not look good. <sighs> a tough night out there. We'll catch up back at the bus. What do you want? Just came to check on you. And let you know that it's over. <laughs> you lost. It's not over yet. I still have time. Maybe. But how do you think you're going to get another WWE Championship match? I hold all the cards. I have a proposal. Next week, I'll take on someone from your new supergroup. If I win, I get a title match at SummerSlam with a chance to beat the deadline. And if you lose? Then we can forget about the deadline. I'll leave WWE immediately. So, basically, if things go our way, <laughs> and they will, I can get rid of you sooner than I planned? I like the sound of that. You have yourself a deal. So who am I going to face next week? Let's keep that a surprise. But I will give you a heads up on one thing. The match 
is going to be no disqualification. So good luck stopping us.